1940, I finished the high school except six months. German came to Romania and right away we were not allowed as Jews to go to school. But even before they came, the government in Romania changed to the extent that became more and more pro-German. And they controlled the government and definitely the Jews were pressed and pressed to the extent that they could not do business, they could not go to school, they could not do almost anything. You could not go on, on the streets so often because you were, you were attacked, you were burglarized, you were beaten, you can be arrested. So uh, I could not even work at the factory because they did not want me to work. The, the owner would like me, but he could not do this because other people would object as Jews to work at the factory. Animosity toward Jews, not from, from the so-called the official, the official we are with, but even from neighbors right. that we consider ourselves more or less friends or living together. We were very disappointed with our entire so-called Romanian society. We accept this because we did not have any other choices. So it was a very dark period where you do not see what is the end of the tunnel. We know that the German army is invincible. They already conquered the entire Europe and they were preparing for the war with, with uh, Russia. And your parents, your mom who already had the disappointment of you, for you, when she left her hometown and her family disappointed her, yes. now has this horrible thing happening where she lives again. Right. And one of her brothers, Nene Saul, Nene, came to Bucharest and they were interacting together. Uh, I think that uh, I mentioned to you that outburst of violence was very often and they were not something that you uh, uh, you went to sleep a little bit. Oh, yeah. you know? It was not something that you, you, you can, you, you can uh, foresee this, but her brother was taken out on the street one day and we could not find it. And finally, I was told that he is in one of the slaughterhouse. And I went there and I found him and in one of the... You found him dead? Oh, dead. He was dead for several days. Mm. But it was hanging in one of the places that you, you put the... The meat. The meat. On those meat hooks. Yes. This was... And were you like crying hysterically? No, or Because you were already used to seeing death I around you? I was without work. The days we, are li we were living day by day because you know, nobody knows what is going to bring the next day. And in one of the weekends, I was walking, it was in 1941, I think, 40, 41. I was going with, uh, walking with Armand. We went, in fact, to make some, to buy several things bread and some food and I was talking with Armand and all of a sudden I look around and Armand is, is not around and I was surrounded but by people of the guard, the iron guard. This was, I was already 17. 
before this, the, the, the government ordered all the Jews to register for, for labor. But I, this was by the age of 18, and I was 17. So I said, I am 17. You, I, no, you are not 17. You are 18. You are a moral. And they took me and brought me to the called the deportation center. It was a place that I know this place because it was a, a, a football stadium before. And there were a lot of Jews there, and I was brought there. And in spite of my uh, argument that I was not 18, they did not let me go. And I did not have a way to let my parents know. So Armand was really the only one that saw you? Yes, and Armand notified my parents. Right. And, then, um, and Milu, by this point... He was in Russia. Russia, and you hadn't heard from him now? No, still we did not hear from him. Okay, so now the second child, child is where... I know that Milu... Milu was... Milu, the husband of Becca, this is not my brother, no, Milu, right. uh, had some connection with uh, Romanian who were in, in, in uh, his business, and he tried to reach me, but could not reach me. And I was sent. This is, is a period that already, is already the uh, Germans start the war with, Germ with the Russian. And the Romanian army was an active participant of the war with Russia, against Russia. The particip this participation was in such a way that Romanian was not fighting the war, but was so-called helping the Germans. The war effort. Yeah. The war effort. And a group of 29 uh, of 30 of Jews were sent among other, with me uh, included, to a place. We went with a train. We know that we left Rum Romania. The train was a cattle train. The Romania was sitting in a nice uh, compartment, but we were sitting in a cattle train. And um, but we were getting food and we were getting water. water, and we stopped because it was a long journey. We, um, I would say, we took about five to six days with the train. But this isn't the image that people get have of how the Germans would put people on the put on the cattle cars. No, and no, they would, no, like, clearly be moving them to, you know, hoping that some of them would die. No, definitely not. We were kept. Uh, we could have go out of this uh, train. We to do our needs. We were uh, uh, given food and water. You were being treated like human beings. We were treated well by the Romanian. Right. Romanian. And after five or six days maybe a little bit more, I cannot remember, we realize that we are for a long time not in uh, Romania anymore. We are in Russian because everything was with Russian name. And right. And Did you speak any Russian then? No, or? no. At, at the beginning I didn't. But later on I did. But very few because, very little, because in fact we were surrounded by Romania. Right were also Russian who were working for the Romanian prisoners, but they were in another camp, so we did not have too much uh, connection. We arrived in a place that we know was south of Kiev. I even cannot remember the name, but I, I because it was also in, in, in uh, Russia. 
I could remember their name, but later on, not right now, I cannot remember. And this was how far? This was about the way that uh, I know right now. Uh, it's about a, a thousand miles. From your home? From, from the Romanian, Romanian border. border. And how much more from where you live? Another uh, 200 miles. No more. This camp was an intersection of a railroad serving the German army with transportation. The Romanian job was to maintain this intersection in a functional condition. And sure, we, the 29 Jews, only young people, but definitely older than me, I was the youngest, our work con uh, consists of maintaining this railroad. You have to change logs. You have to uh, uh, strengthen the screws. And sometimes when train arrive, you have to carry loads from one place to another. We were starting work uh, after we have uh, a tea and uh, some bread. We were working from 6 o'clock till about 12 o'clock when we got the main food. And the main food was consisted of soup and some vegetable. Very rare was something neat, where young people were looking for main protein, did not have it. Um, the big uh, day was when they were choosing one or two of us to clean the dishes for the kitchen the, of the Romanian uh, kitchen. And the Romanian were about 100 or 100 uh, something. They have a separate kitchen, kitchen we have a separate kitchen. I, I said that uh, the best day when, when we were selected, two of us were selected to clean up the, the Romanian kitchen because then we were eating after their food, who had meat more than we. And then, and also, probably the work was a lot less physical. No, 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 no. The work, the physical work, was not difficult. Mm -hmm. the The most difficult was two things: the weather who was during the winter very harsh, and Second, the food. We were young people who needed a lot of food that we did not have. It was mainly potatoes, mainly tomatoes, a cheap type of vegetable that they were collecting from the around us. Did they beat you? No, never. Never. So it wasn't like it was not a harsh camp. This was the really only harsh this was really a, a work camp. Yeah, definitely a work camp, and uh, they were not abusing us at all. If I would say I don't feel good to go, I could stay. So this sounds like the way the Nazis try to fake it with Jews when they wanted them to go to camps like Auschwitz, and they would say, you're going to work for the war effort. Right, right, right. But Romanian behave, the Romanian in Romania was not behaving nicely. But the Romanian, the soldier who, in fact, they did not know what they are doing there. Oh. Uh, because only a year ago, 
the Russian took part of their side. All of a sudden, they were in the Russian territory as the master. They were confused completely. But with us, they behaved. Were they young too? Were the Romanians, were they young, the soldiers? Say again? The Romanian soldiers, were they young? The Romanian soldiers, no. This was a, a, a unit of people a little bit um, older. This was not a combat combat unit. It was a, a called a maintenance unit. And but they do most of them did have connection with the Jews before, and they were doing this because this is what they told them to do. And the government was ordering. But they, they were not friendly in the sense of sympathizing with us, because if they would sympathize with us, uh, uh, we would have more food. But the main problem is the weather and the food. Right. I mentioned this was 1941. I was there in 1942. 142, and by the beginning of 1943, something happened. And this happened, we know from them, because we could discuss with Romanian, and they were hearing radio, and we know more or less. After the Stalingrad, the, the Germans realized that they are going to lose the war. Because in Stalingrad, a half a million German, almost a half a million men was caught prisoners. Half a million. And from this half a million, not even 50,000 reached home. They were all died there. But was, we were, if you know where Kiev, Kiev is a the southern part of Russia. This is a part that the Russian got beaten because Stalin, uh, Stalingrad is in the southern part of Russia. And all of a sudden we, have, we start to see instead of train going to the front in one direction with very clean, very well dressed and very well fed Russian, um, German, we start to see German coming on the direction from the front going to uh, west in a very poor condition in sense of dress, in sense of food and in sense of morale we start to feel that something is going on. And the Romanian was telling us. So uh, we start to feel that we are going to be in trouble. And from this 29, all of a sudden we realize that two are not anymore, three are not anymore, five are not, and the Romanian knew this. But they did not take any action because they were af more afraid than we are. We were because if the Russian would, would catch them, they would kill them one hundred percent. It start to be a less organized camp. Some day we went to work. Some day we did not went to work. Some day we would have food. Some day we, we did not have. And the Romanians said. We did not receive any anything any food. It's happened that after a week or two or three weeks, we remain only twelve people. Then I decide that I'm going to make my my move. I'm not going to stay there. And I had some doubt if to go by myself, if to go in a group. I, my feeling was that in a group you are going to be more exposed. 
and I decide to leave. I did accumulate some food, specific bread. This is the only thing that you can carry with you, bread. And in one of the morning, not night, one of the morning, I left the, the thing and I started to work. work. At the beginning, as I said, I left the camp on the daylight in the morning. After I found out that we are not going to get food today, and so there was no reason to remain anymore. So I left, I know the direction. The only thing that we know, we have to avoid how much is possible at, to be seen. By the moment that you are being seen, you are in danger. By the Russian, by the Romanian, and by the German. So you have to stay how much you can. The question was how to acquire food. And this was the main, main problem. Uh, a lot of these places do have berry, you know, but berry. berries, berries, and this was the main food that you had. Uh, I one time I, I killed a, a rabbit. It was a lot of a rabbit. A rabbit was, but I did not know how to deal to do this until I learned how to kill a rabbit, how to prepare. The, how to eat, how to make a, 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 a fire. To take, it took to me a week to learn how to make a fire. I did not have matches. You take two, you take some uh, very dry um, wood. Uh, no, no. Like brush? Like, like very dry brushes. And you take two stones. So you make that friction. Flick, yes, and you have flicker this guy. Yeah. But you see, at the beginning I worked hours on this. And after a while I became so good on this that it took to me 15 minutes and I have a, a, a fire. Can you do it now? Oh, sure. This, you don't You don't forget this. that. Right? No, you don't. But what I am trying to say is I didn't have a map. I know the direction by the star. But by the day I have a problem. No stars. No star. And, and the sun did help, but not so much. I was more comfortable with the night. Mm -hmm. But there were nights with no... No, no stars. No. With no star. It was cloudy. Yeah. Anyway, at the beginning, I work very, very solid. But uh, after a month, a month and a half, I start to feel that I lost weight. I uh, I, I need more sleep. How about your clothes? Oh, oh. you wear a pair of pants that. Uh, Did you have a jacket? I mean, we. I have. I have it. I had a jacket. I have uh, not a, a jacket. I had a um, coat. A coat. So a very, very good coat. So they gave you like good clothes no, there. No, they did not. The no. coat I stole. It. Okay. No, they did not get you clothes. No, you but you didn't. Did you wear like? Prison uniforms or anything no, like that? No, because no. you weren't really. We were not prison. Right. We were working. Right. No, no. From this point of view, no. Okay. But I stole a cloth. This is not me. Yet. You see, there was no problem to to, to have clothes there because the Romanians were getting and uh, uh, were getting. They were about a unit of one hundred, but there was a register that they are five hundred. Okay. And the food and the, all that they were getting for more. So it was no problem with this. The problem is 
they, they were eating very good and we were eating very poor. But this is the way that it is. I know, you know, you'd think that if they wanted you to work harder, yeah. that they would feed you better. Yeah, but I, I, I have to say the work, because I worked there almost a year, was not hard work. Not, was not hard work. The only problem is the weather and, and food. But let me go back to the fact that I left the camp, I know that if I see a light, I have to avoid this light. The light was a, a, a small town or a, a, a how you call a kvar? Village. A village. And there were a lot of villages, but Russia is a big, big country and you can walk day and nights and nights and day and you don't find any person. <coughs> Sometime I had the feeling that I saw I am seeing some other people from my camp or from other camp, but you were not the only one who was coming back. Um, but you avoid them. If you feel that there is another human being around you, you stay still till he is going or you avoid him going in another direction. The food was whatever you catch animal, and this was mainly rabbits. But there were a lot of rabbits. Uh, Sometime, I remember one time, I found a female, uh, a family of piglets, but I did not know what to do with them. So I did not take advantage of this, although I would, would be very good for me. But I did not know how to deal with this. <laughs> um, and some time we were walking, I was walking during the night, mainly during the night, and how close I came to Romanian border. the area was more populated. I'm not talking of come to Romania, but before Romania. Apparently, where I was at the beginning was a vast area of not so much populated people, person, uh, uh, area. But getting closer to Romanian border, still in Russia, uh, I, I saw more and more uh, villages, and uh, this you have to be very, very... And more dangerous. So the closer you got... The, was I was working or only during the night, never during the day. So uh, it took about three or four months that I worked only during the... But I know that I'm coming, coming close. Mm -hmm. How I know that I'm coming? The type of housing, the villages, became more, more uh, uh, familiar in the sense that they, they were built in the same way. They have the, the um, animal place in them. Because sometime during the night I was going there to find food. And I found food. I, I stole food from them specific from the place that you see in these small villages there is a house where the people are living and there is a place that you keep the animal. Every village has a place that is keeping the animal. How do you feel not to talk to anyone for all this time? Did you talk to yourself? Yes. Did you, did you talk to and, yourself and talk like to speaking? Your talk to yourself loud. Talk to yourself loud. Because otherwise you are lost. Yeah. And it's a tendency to 
go to someone and to talk to yeah. them. It was so, so powerful. powerful but yeah. at the same time, you were afraid of your life. Because you, you knew what they did before. And we know from other people what. So. Now you, but you didn't know anything about the death camps. You didn't know anything about no, those. No. No. What I know before they came, you see, in Romania was two area. One was Romania per se, and then was Transylvania. Right. Transylvania, the German came to Transylvania before they came to Romania. Mm -hmm. Because Romania was divided. The Russian. That's where the Gali Wussel was in Transylvania. Yes, yeah. yes. So I know that a lot of people have been deported from Transylvania to camps. Uh, in Romania, when they caught me, I did. They did. Later, I, I knew that in about six, seven months after I left, they start to take Jews to, to camp. But then, when I was there, they take only to working camp and Romania, not German. Milo, Milo was already gone. Milo was gone. I'm speaking Milo uh, Becker. Milo Becker's husband. No. And why did they take it? Why did they take them? What then? Because Milo had money. Everything is a function of money. But probably a lot of. And, and uh, Armand? And, uh, no, no. Money and connection. And Armand? Armand stayed completely home. He did not go to the street. And his family? No. No. And Armand has three brothers. And they all. No. Two they took, but later. And two remain. Armand and a smaller brother remain. Two other brother. But let me go back to my way back from the camp. Uh, you you would ask me something very simple. How you would know how many days? To be honest, at the beginning, I did not even count. But after about two or three months, I started to count because I was so lonely, lonely and not able to communicate and not, not knowing what is going on. But I started to count. It was a period of time that I was walking and sleeping, not like a human being. I was a kind of vegetation st stage, doing this on an instinctive basis without any way of thinking. I reach a stage of exhaustion physically and mentally, but mainly physically because the food was not a, a real, and I, I became a skeleton. And after a while, I became, I developed some uh, sores source on my skin. Not only my skin, on in the mouth and and uh, because I, you were because of lack of food and lack of food, lack of vitamin and yeah. many many factor, nutrition factor. I already reached Trans at Nistru, and I know that I am close to home. But I was almost ready to give up because I could not go further. I, I could not walk because I had wounds on the foot. I could not uh, I could not even see well, but I could not. Uh, um, I did not. I do not. Did not care anymore what is going to, to happen. So one day, 
after I pass the mystery. I uh, I reach a small village, Romanian village, and I decide I cannot go anymore. And I show up near a house who someone saw me. And I was in a daze because I was not even able to walk and I was able to do anything and I fell asleep. When I woke up, I saw a girl who should for me was an angel, but she, uh, right now, she was most probably around 20, 21 or 30. How uh, old were you then? I was, uh, it was in 1943 already, uh, I was uh, 20, but it was a big difference in uh, she was a solid girl, uh, basin, and I was a skeleton, and I fell asleep, and the next day I found food near me and some clothes, because my Pens was full of uh, clothes, and I have a Romanian uh, military uh, uh, uniform. Huh? Off, like coat. A coat, a coat, coat, a military coat, but it was dirty and full of holes. And so next day. Next, uh, I, when I wake up from sleep, I found food, and I found a piece of meat, mm. and I don't know what kind of meat it was chicken or uh, beef, or, and I found for the first time a piece of fresh bread. It was like a heaven, and clothes, a pair of pants. And a, not a, not a, a coat, a ja jacket. So all of a sudden, I found food, and I stayed there about three or four days. And every time I found food, but I know that this girl did not work alone. She had because I saw that sometime the food was put down by someone else, not by the girl. And so do you think you weren't the only one that she could have helped? Yes, I don't know. But she did not know if I am a Jewish, a Romanian. She was just helping a person. A person. These two or three days that I ate, and I, uh, Did you hide out oh, during the day, or no, you just lay there? Don't know. I, I, you see, the village was such; the house was about two hundred or three hundred uh, meter, and I was in the woods, and there I stayed. But after three or four days, I regained a little bit of power. I ate. And I had new clothes, and I washed because I did not wash for a long time. There was a lot of water there, and this is a way that I went home. I reached Romania. Now, how did you get over the border? There was no border. I know that I am Romania because everyone was talking Romanian. How is it I know? Because I was close enough to hear them, but they did not see me. And I know that I pass the Nistru. And I know, I, I know the Nistru well. I know every place is there. Anyway, 